just wanted to close, the Rav mentioned about the a potential shida for Hamavadya, what happened. So apparently about uh, 20 years ago when his wife passed away, so at that funeral, uh, not at the funeral, they had his in here in America, so one of the Rabban told the following story. He said that uh, Chacham Avadya was a, a young man, he was very handsome. You look in the photographs in the book, he was an extremely handsome young man. So uh, Atam Chacham came to the Rosh Hashiva, and he said he needs a very learned boy for his daughter. His daughter wants to marry Tamachok. So the Rosh Hashiva said the one who's head and shoulders above everybody else is Avadi Yosef. He's going to arrange that he should come to your home tonight and he'll take out your daughter. Shine. So he says, make sure your daughter's dressed up nicely. He's going to send the boy there. So the young man comes to the home and the father of the girl was a Tamachok. So he started talking with him and learning. And he was such a pleasant conversationalist, talking, 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 talking for three hours. It was already 11 o'clock. So the father looks at his watch. Oh, you know, it's 11 o'clock. He didn't see the girl yet. The girl's sitting in the other room. <laughs> so he said, it's too late. You can't take my day. You can't go for a walk at 11 o'clock at night. Please come back tomorrow night. And then the father apologized to the daughter. He was such a pleasant conversationalist. I didn't realize that the time went by. Tomorrow night, this, and the girl was so hurt. She got all dressed up, waiting for a date, and the boy never, never saw her even. So she said to the father, she, she didn't want to go out the next night either, but the father insisted, he's such a big time of So I said, okay, but she insisted, make sure you only talk a half an hour. <laughs> so the young man came the next night, back to the same thing, talking, talking, talking. He looks at his watch, it's 11 o'clock already. He couldn't believe it. Again, the same thing happened. So he asked, Avadiya said, please come back tomorrow night and take out my daughter. So he said, fine. The girl didn't want. So the father kept on pleading, pleading, pleading. So finally, the girl agreed, but she said, this time, don't talk and learning at all. Just give him a little cake and a cup of tea, and that's all. And then we're going to go out. So the father said, okay, not going to talk and learn. So he came the next line. He had, a, he had the cake and the tea, and he said, Abrach Achreina. And the father didn't say, Abrach Achreina. So the young man asked the father, how come you didn't say Baruch HaKhan? So he said, because he didn't drink the tea, took the baby, he was cross. So they started a whole conversation, talking, 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 talking. <laughs> 11 o'clock, this is what they said at her, at the Heston when she passed away. It was already 11 o'clock. So he said, you can't go for a walk my daughter 11 o'clock. Please come back tomorrow. <laughs> then, he, then he told the daughter that it's his fault. The daughter said, I'm not going to go out with him. Goodbye. I'm not finished. If, the, if he's not enough of a mensch, he, he talks all night long. He, he, you didn't realize. He should have realized that. She, she refused. She's not going to go out with him. So the next night, she didn't get dressed up. She, she was wearing a plain dress. She didn't want to get dressed up. So the young man came again to take out the girl. And the father started to apologize. His daughter refused to go out with him. She's Bishumayf and she's not going to marry him. She's not going to go out with him. She doesn't want to see him as Nishke Mensch. There's nothing to discuss. And the father apologized. So the young man said, Please, can I speak to her for three minutes? So he said, it's not going to help. Nothing is going to help. So he kept on pleading with the father. And he said, do you have a private room where I can talk to the girl? So he said, yeah. So the girl wasn't, didn't have any drinks, no, no makeup, no jewelry, not all dressed up. This is the way they said the story uh, 19 years ago, whatever it was. So they went together in a room. Three minutes later, they came out. Mazel tov. The drinkers were high, they got engaged. So the father asked, what did you say to the girl that you convinced her? So he said, I told the girl, if you'll give me Olam Hazen, I'll give you a share of my Olam Habo. I think they're both sharing a big... Hey, look at Olam Habo. 